Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my zoomed in channel. So for today's video, if you guys did not see, I did a PR haul recently and a makeup organization video recently, and I have so much new makeup sitting in front of me to test out for you guys to give you guys my opinions on these products. So if you guys want to see what all these new makeup products are, what my thoughts are, are they worth it? Then definitely keep on watching. realize is that I didn't do a repurchase or trash for August. I didn't do a repurchase or trash for September. So I could do it one or two ways. I could do August and September next week, and then I can do October at the end of October. I could do that. I think I might actually do that because it would be a very, very long video if I do three months in one video. So I think I'm just gonna break it up like that because I have been testing out some new makeup for the last couple of months. And there's some products that I really wanna to talk to you guys about and give you guys my genuine opinions on those because I have been testing them out. But we do have some new products sitting in front of us today that I, get, that I did get this month in October that I haven't had a chance to play with. So that's what today's video is all about is trying some new makeup, giving you guys my first impressions on them. So we're going to go ahead and dive right on in, but welcome back to another episode of Vlogoween. God, I love saying that. So if you guys did not see, I recently got all five of the Game Beauty palettes in PR. So we're actually going to be playing with these palettes today. They sent over all five palettes. I mean like literally, oh, maybe six, six, no, five, five palettes in PR. I got all five palettes in PR and, um, Instead of doing like a standalone review, I'm just gonna kind of try some of them out today. So I'm actually going to be mixing the um, palette right here. This is the Geo palette, so this is the 03 palette. I'm going to mix it with the 01 Pyro palette. And then I'm also going to be combining the 04 Deandro palette as well. So I'm gonna use these three. The only ones I'm not using today are just the Electro the Elemental, the Cryo Palette, and the Electro Palette, which I will try out again in a future video for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and get this video started. I am very surprised by the amount of PR that I was given this month. Um, that like never really happens. It's very, very, very new to me <laughs> and kind of overwhelming. It's a little overwhelming because it's just not something that I am used to and I am beyond grateful to the brands who are sending me stuff but at the same time I'm always I'm also like well, what do I do? Like I, I don't know what to do with everything and I know that realistically I won't use everything that I am sent just because I only have one face. There are so many days in a month and I just um, don't want anything to go to waste. So if you guys did not see my makeup organization video, I'm going to keep talking about it because I am very excited for what I'm doing. Um, I did a collective like this is like all the makeup that I'm giving away this month in October and actually more already got added to it. I've been posting my Instagram stories. I think like Benefits sent me another box. I got something from Kara cosmetics um Maraud beauty pixie beauty uh chic beauty box they all sent me some stuff this past week that i featured over on my instagram um story so if you guys are not following me there you definitely should and um I already went ahead and added some more products in there that I know that I'm just not gonna be able to get, not be able to play with. Um, I'm gonna go into the uh, Geo palette. We're gonna take the shade, the shade right here called Fissure. I'm just gonna kind of mix these palettes together while we talk and hang out. So um, I um, know that I'm not going to be able to use all those products, so I went ahead and added them to my giveaway because if you guys don't know, where is my mirror? If you guys don't know, I am doing a birthday stream. So on October 26th, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm gonna go live on my YouTube channel here, <laughs> and I'm doing I'm gonna do a birthday stream. I I turned 34 this year, and I just want to celebrate with you guys. I think it'd be so much fun. So we're just gonna hang out. We're going to um we're just gonna hang out, maybe have a cocktail or two for my birthday. And I have five mystery boxes that I'm gonna be giving away to you guys live during my stream as my way of celebrating my birthday with you guys is giving back to you guys. I'm so excited about it. But yeah, if you guys wanna go see some of those products, I did do a little sneak peek of what's gonna be in those mystery boxes on um, that makeup organization video. And I'm really, really excited. And I, and I said yesterday in my video, if you guys have not caught it, that I think for now on, when it comes to makeup giveaways, I'm just gonna go live on YouTube and do makeup giveaways that way because I am so over the scammers that come into my comment section, they steal my profile picture, they have like a telegram or a WhatsApp or some weird ass number and they comment on the people's posts and said, 
hey, you won, message me, you call me, text me, whatever it is I say at this point, because I say different things every time, to claim your prize. And unfortunately, people do fall for it. They give away their personal information. They give away their debit cards before. And I just feel really bad because I don't want no one getting scammed on my behalf because I'm generally just trying to give back to you guys. And the fact that someone is just trying to take advantage of someone, especially during times like this, when times are so freaking hard for everybody, like times are so unbelievably hard. And this person's over here just trying to scam somebody out of, a, out of their money. It's just something that I don't stand for. And unfortunately, YouTube doesn't do anything about it. And I really, really, really wish they would. I'm going to go into the Pyro palette. I'm going to go into the shade called um, um, Scorch right here or lay that in the outer corner so it's something, something that youtube doesn't do anything about it and it's just really really unfortunate it makes me very upset because like i don't want any of you guys being scammed on my behalf so i just figured the easiest way now for me to do my giveaways and the safest way is just to do it live on youtube that way you know when you won i'm the one physically talking to you i get your information it worked out really really well for my over giveaway when i gave away five signed pr boxes I actually gave away six by the way it was a lot of fun. We got to hang out. We got to interact. It was really cool to see everyone's responses, see how everybody was engaging. Everybody was so sweet and kind to each other. I absolutely loved like the kindness that was being shared. So um, I really want to do that again for my birthday. And then I'm going to try to do it again this year for Christmas. Um, but we'll see how that goes because, like I said, times are tough and I don't have as much flexibility in my bank account wise to do what I've always done. But I'm hoping that brands will want to team up with me again this year like they have in previous years and we can make this a really epic holiday season for you guys as just my way of saying thank you guys so much for all the love and joy that you guys have given me i want to get back to you guys tenfold i'm gonna go back into the power palette by the way i'm gonna go into the shade called sparks and splash really really pretty shade um by the way i've already had a chance to like play with these off camera the formula on these are really 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 nice which i'm very happy about because when i reviewed their um cyberpunk palette that they did I absolutely hated that formula. I did not think it was good at all. So the fact that this has improved ten like tenfold is just really, really nice. I do have a discount. I do have an affiliate code with Game Beauty. It is code Alley. If you guys do want to pick anything up from this collection, don't ever feel obligated to do so. But it does save you guys 10% just in case you guys want to. Okay, then we're gonna go back into the um, Geo palette. I am going to take the shade called Magna right here. I'm gonna lay that right next to that. Um, but yeah, I just feel like this would be the best way to like do giveaways from now on is to just do it that way. And I'm really, really looking forward oh, that is so pretty, to my birthday stream. I feel like that's going to be so much fun. It's so random though, because it is on a Thursday. So it's just going to be very random to do it on a Thursday. I usually do my giveaways on a Friday, but it actually kind of works out because I did not know this. My husband completely surprised me, but he actually took off my birthday, which I did not ask him to do. He did it all on his own. And I thought that was very, very, very sweet of him because I thought I was just gonna be spending my birthday pretty much by myself because my husband usually does work on Thursdays. And he said, no, he went ahead and requested off to hang out with me on our on my birthday. So I'm really excited about that because I had no idea that he did that. Uh, I was not gonna make a big dip on my birthday this year because it is just turning 34. And well, that's not really an exciting age for me. <laughs> so I just wasn't gonna do anything big at all because I was just like, oh, it's just another day. You know what I mean? So I'm actually really excited that he's going to be off because then he can make sure that we can get this done properly because he helped me out so much last time. Okay, then I'm going to go into the um, Deandro palette. We're going to go into this first shade right here called Luminescent Spear. Spear, Spear. Really pretty like duochrome shift. We're going to place that just right. If I didn't have these nails... This would be so much easier. I don't know how well it's coming off on camera, but it's like a green, gold, orange shit. That's actually really pretty. I like that. Okay, so let me quickly do the other eye off camera, and we're going to come back to do the face. I'm excited because I have some new products in here that I've never tried. We have a stick foundation. I have not used a stick foundation since Hourglass, and I absolutely hated that foundation, and I have a new one today to try. This was sent to me by a brand, and... Um, we'll see how i like it so now that that is on i think it's so freaking pretty we're gonna go into primer so for primer today i do have this jelly bear hydrating primer from winky lux so this is a lock your jelly best with a refreshing translucent primer which preps the skin with major moisture for flawless makeup application typically when it's anything says it's hydrating i tend to stay away from it because I am so oily that the last thing I want to do is add any more oiliness 
oily, 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 oiliness. I'm tongue tied to, I can't get this freaking box open to my face because, um, well, it's going to do it all on its own. Okay. So this is how the product looks. I have never seen this before. I haven't even seen anyone really talk about it. It's a jelly prim. It smells really good. It's jelly primer. Oh, it's like this. Okay. I'm not going to lie guys. I, I told you guys yesterday that I'm trying this new, like press on nail kick. I'm on a press on nail kick. I really do enjoy wearing press on nails. Um, because I just think they're really pretty. You can change them whenever you want. But I realized I really like, oh, this is my turning my face red. I really like the um, flat tips. These are so like sharp and pointy and they're just kind of a pain. So like, I don't know what to do because I'm not really the biggest fan of them. My husband loves them because he's like, ooh, back scratches. I'm like, bitch, this thing's annoying. It is annoying. They're kind of too long for me. And I could cut them down, but they're that really weird shape. You know what I mean? Like they're that really weird shape. So like, it's kind of like, what do I do situation? But I also bought, when I bought these, these other shape ones for Halloween. And I wanted to wear them, but now I'm just kind of like, I, I don't know if I'm going to. Okay, so this is on. I don't really feel anything on my face other than it just feels like almost like a silicone primer. Is this silicone base? No, it's water base. Well, the first ingredient is water. Okay. I will really have to try and try this out. So Merit Beauty sent over some new products. They're really sweet. They sent over a serum, which is sitting in my bathroom because it's a skincare and I don't want to put skincare on the video, but they also sent over the Minimalist. This is a perfecting complex stick. So this right here says to you, this right here is, um, not, it's not a, it's not a foundation or concealer. It's both use it where, use it only where you need it. So you can get compliments on your skin, not your makeup. They're very much about minimalistic makeup. So it's more just like showing off your real face than like putting on heavy makeup. And I'm the opposite going, let's put on the heavy makeup. Um, this is in the shade, uh, linen, which I believe, cause I got to pick it out. I believe it's like a light medium with neutral undertones. I think that's what I got. And they also included a brush to go with it, which I'm very, very grateful for. So we're going to try this out. See how well I like this. Last time I did a stick foundation of any sort. Whoa. I did not like it because, um, it was the hourglass vanish stick foundation. I wore it all day to work. And, um, I also don't really know what I'm doing by the way. Um, like I'm just Wow, you can see my freaking pore textures. Holy shit. <laughs> We're just gonna draw. Let's just shape the face. It, oh, it very much accentuates my pores. I said, said not to do this, but we're gonna do this. So um, like I said, last time I did this was with um, the Hourglass Vanish Chic Foundation and my friend actually met me after work one day and I had her gently look at my face and like, can you tell me how my face like, really looks? And she's like, oh girl, this is not looking good. My, I was so oily. Um, and I was so oily. My, I had missing pieces from my face just all over. It was really, really bad. So I just knew then that I just never really cared for stick foundations. Maybe I should honestly give it a try again. I had a great video idea actually courtesy of Angelica. She gave me a great video idea and I actually might do it. So maybe you guys might see that foundation stick come back on my channel once more. Although I don't think I ever filmed with it. I think I bought it to film. I don't remember ever filming it, but I know I returned it. I did return that, but I feel like that'd be kind of a cool video idea. Okay, Stay, well, we, might, we, might, we might be onto something. You know, this is really not horrible. A little bit thicker. I mean, they it said right here, don't put it all over the face because they want your true skin to show, but <laughs> I need it all over my face. Um, Actually really not bad. Like it generally, it's not bad. I mean, like my nose, it's not that great. Like you can clearly see my large pores. I don't know how well this would do to contain the oil. I'm pretty sure I will get very oily wearing this, but honestly, just kind of throwing this on the face just for like a quick walking out the door. You just want to have your skin looking kind of even. I can actually see myself grabbing this. I really can see myself kind of just grabbing this and doing like a light, like wash over the face like this. And then just kind of stippling over it with this brush. I wasn't sure because this brush is like pretty soft, but this is making it very easy to kind of blend out the makeup, which I'm actually quite shocked about. 
because whenever I used to do foundations, as sticks back in the day, you can clearly see the streaking of the brush on my face. I never really knew how to make it not streak. And this is looking really nice, actually. I'm just gonna kind of go over it with my damn beauty sponge. Well, I'll be damned. This ain't that bad. Okay, this is not that bad. Alrighty, that's kind of exciting. Okay, so for concealer, I do have new, two new concealers right here. These are both sent to, sent to me by um, Urban Decay, which is still just like weird. Um, they sent over the shade uh, two, a 20 and N Fair, which is a neutral, and then 40 and N Light Medium. I think I'll go with the Fair one today. And this is the, um, it's up to 24 hour long wear, waterproof and transfer resistance concealer this came out a couple months ago i did want to pick it up and i never got a chance to and i'm kind of glad i didn't but they sent over the concealer i've always wanted to try this i really used to love the urban decay um this is a concealer what the fuck this thing is what this is like a foundation they're a naked skin foundation i really really did love that foundation so i'm really curious to see like how i like this concealer i really want to get that foundation again oh wow she is actually kind of thick she is definitely a little bit more thick than the foundation itself. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. So I'm really gonna have to try to, I'm really gonna have to try this foundation, this concealer off on a different foundation because this is such a lightweight foundation that I feel like it wouldn't really be fair to kind of judge it against this because it is a more heavier concealer, like it is more full coverage. So we're really gonna have to try this out like on my favorite like foundations like the Revlon and stuff to see how I really like it. But so far it is looking nice. Now I don't have a new bronzer to try. So I'm just gonna put on, on a like bronzer. I don't have a new bronzer to try, so I'm just gonna go in with the Rare Beauty bronzer stick right here. Um, if you guys did not know, yesterday was Mental Health Aware World Mental Health Awareness Day. So Rare Beauty said that 100% of proceeds that were spent on Rare Beauty yesterday would go to the World Impact Fund that Rare Beauty is a part of. And I absolutely love that cause. I was very vocal about mental health yesterday and so many of you guys reached out to me in my DMs and you guys were also like very sweet in the comment section and kind of shared your guys' own stories, your own struggles. And it just was very sweet to kind of have that connection with you guys because like I said, mental health is just one of those things that a lot of people just don't like to talk about. And it's so prevalent in our society with how many people that deal with just mental health as a whole. And it should just be a, a discussion that people should have more often because you just really don't know who's struggling and who needs the help, you know what I mean? So that's why I always try to like spread kindness where I can because you just, just don't know what someone's going through. You just generally don't. Okay, so for blush, I actually got this blush sent over from Smashbox. They just sent me a package this morning, which again, is just crazy. They sent over their photo finish uh, primer right here, which I'm gonna go ahead and put in my giveaway box because I absolutely can't stand this primer. I think it's just not good for me. They sent over a found, um, mascara, which we're gonna try today, and the Halo Smashbox like lip tint and cheek stain thingy. But we're gonna use this actually as our uh, cheek product today. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I guess I'll put a little bit on my, my hand and then put it by the sponge before we go in with setting powder. So I'm just gonna, ooh, this, what was that? Oh, okay. Did something, I was like, something just, oh, it is. It's like watery a little bit. Ooh, okay. Very lightly, just do, do. Oh, that might be kind of, that might be kind of deep. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Try to like pat that in a little bit. You guys know I'm not really a big fan of like lip and cheek moments. I just, I've never have been. Um, I just feel like they just get messy, they get everywhere, and, well, this is kind of a pretty color, though. But I've never really been a fan of the duo. I don't know why, I just never have been, but this is actually kind of a really pretty color. So this is a um, creamy multitasking formula, sheer yet buildable color, formulated with primal, primer oil comp complex for comfort. I am putting oil on my face. Oh my God, my oily skin is going to scream. Okay, so while it's drying down, we're gonna go ahead and set the under eyes. So Nikkei Joy Cosmetics sent over their brightening velvet finishing powder right here. This is a pink powder, and this is a luxurious velvet finishing powder infused with vitamin A, E, and aloe vera and sweet almond oil to gently hydrate the skin while controlling shine. Brightening soft focus formula leaves a velvet finish on the skin, blurring imperfections, smoothing skin texture. Pink tint reflects light to brighten the skin, keeping makeup looking perfect all day long. Now, I absolutely do love the Nikkei Joy Cosmetics velvet finishing powder 
it is my absolute favorite finishing powder especially for oily skin but this is a brightening like pink one which i have not like um played with yet so like i'm really curious to see like how this is going to work they gave me a little powder poof to go with it so this is going to go right underneath my eyes and let's see how i like this like i said let's see how i like this now you guys can use code Allie, which will save you guys 15 percent off when shopping at nikia joy cosmetics this is out kind of bright but we're just gonna stamp this in. I'm not even gonna bother to try to set like set the face with this because it is kind of brightening because I also do wanna use a different setting powder, but we're just gonna use this to brighten the under eye. Do you guys see it? Wow, like that, it looks so soft. Do you guys see the difference? Actually, actually looking really nice. And it's so weird because it says it has a pink tint to it, but it's so light that like I can't even really see the pinkness to it. It looks more whitish if that makes any, but oh my God, that actually really, smooths the under eye what the heck that is so beautiful oh that's actually really nice i like that okay cool we're definitely gonna have to keep playing with that one we're definitely going to keep playing with that. So for setting powder, I've actually been testing this out for a while. We do have the Milk Makeup. This is their setting powder powder. This is the Pore Clips Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I've tried this a few times. It's not my favorite product from Milk Makeup. You guys know that I love their setting spray. I love their primer. But this actual like setting powder, I don't know. I just feel maybe it's what I'm pairing it with. I feel like it really doesn't do much to control the oil because I'm usually, I'm, I feel like it really doesn't do much to, to control the oil. Like I kind of had higher hopes for it because how well the other products work, but this one right here, it kind of just makes the face look nice, but it doesn't have longevity to it. Like I really, really love the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder, but I also really love the Lunar Beauty Luniversal Setting Powder. Now that setting powder, not only does it blur your imperfections, but man, does it really help to control the oil and shine, which I really, really do appreciate. So like I said, I really do like this powder. I do like this powder, but I just had like higher hopes for it because of how well I really do love their primer and their setting spray. But to me, this doesn't really do much in terms of like setting the makeup all day. I just feel like I do get oily with this setting powder. And that's just a little disappointing because I thought it would just work very, very well like the other ones do. But we're going to keep playing with this. I'm going to keep trying this and I'll give you guys my final opinion on it at the end of October. Okay, so to finish off the eyes, we're going to go actually into the cryo palette right here. We're going to use this shade called Frozen Tomb. We're actually going to use that to go underneath our eyes today. Add a little bit of blue. Blue and orange always looks really nice together. And then we might take the shade cut Aurora Beams and put that in our inner corner. So see, I'm trying to utilize all these palettes that I can. I'm trying. So let's take this and just very, very, very lightly kind of just push this right under here. Then I'm going to take the shade called Astral Descent and we're going to blend that out with that. Okay, so for liner, I just threw on a little bit of yellow liner because I just feel like that would kind of complement this, this look like tremendously. So before we finish off the eyes, we're going to go into highlighter. I do have two highlighters sitting in front of me right now. These are from What's Up Beauty. These are the Serengeti highlighters right here. I have the um, Wow Attica and then the Sahara Sunset right here. So see which one would actually look better with this look. These are so freaking beautiful, by the way. I mean, like seriously, like look at how gorgeous. I mean like so so pretty These are the two we have the sunset and the wild one just a little bit different so i think i'm going to go into this one today we're going to kind of mix the two together i thought this would have more of like a shinier texture but instead this is giving you more of like a nice little gleam almost like a like a glow from within and not like a high shine like you're sweating but this looks like you're more like glowing from within it's actually pretty I didn't know what to expect, but I I did not expect like the glow from within. Sometimes I really do like the in your face highlighters, but sometimes I really do like the highlighters right here where it just looks like you're glowing from within. So for mascara, we're actually gonna go in and try out the brand new Smashbox. This is the Super Fanned Out Mascara. And this has a 12 hour volume lift and lengthen, 94% soft fanned out look, no clumping, smudging, or flaking. So we're, let's try this out. I don't think I've ever tried out a Smashbox um, mascara before, and I love trying out different mascaras. So I'm actually really excited about this one. Nice wand shape too. Hey, this is just the one coat, not bad. It is definitely not bad. I was still kind of paired this with other mascaras, but I will say it didn't really spread too much, like a little bit got on the lid, but it was nice. It didn't hurt my lashes. It definitely separated them, but like I said, I would definitely pair it with other 
mascara just because um, I like to start off with a waterproof mascara to help to lift my lashes. But I would definitely wear this by itself for sure. It's pretty. I like it. It's not bad. Okay, so to finish off the eye, we're going to go back into the Cairo palette one more time. I'm going to the shade right here called Aurora Beams, and we're going to use that as our inner corner and brow bone highlight today. I just think it's going to be like such a pretty shade. Last one is we have lips. So I have all these lip oils from Fantasy Cosmetica. I still want to play with the palette. I just haven't had a chance to do so, but you guys will see it this month. I will definitely get to it. But they did include lip oils as well because I rolled out with some lip oils. So I just want to check these out, see what they look like. I'm going to definitely use one of these today. Ooh, it's like a black one. I'm going to sw swatch all these for you. Here are all the swatches of the lip oils. These are so pretty. Obviously, they look a little bit more intense, but the like you put on your lip, they are going to shear themselves out just a bit, but they will have a little bit of a tint to them. So I think today I'll go into this shade to kind of match the look. And this is the shade that's called um, Ifrit. Ifrit, we're going to use this today. I will say they do smell really nice. And they all have different smells. It's like a grape smell, strawberry smell, like a, a melon smell, and I just got that on my nose. <laughs> There's like really good smelling stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to throw on my lip liner. I was going to do my Huda Beauty one, but I don't know where that's at. I think it's on the floor somewhere. So we're just going to go into the Glam Light um, lip liner right here. really been enjoying this lip liner. Speaking of Glam Light, if you guys did not see, they did fully announce their Jason collection. I did post it on my community page if you guys want to check it out. It does launch this Friday, July. It does launch this Friday, October 13th at 8 a.m. Pacific time, Pacific Standard Time. It's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm so excited for this whole collection. It looks going to be so freaking good. All right, then I'm going to go in with my lip oil. I'm going go with my lipstick from Ofra. This is the shade Kaya. You guys know that that's my favorite. Which is still available for purchase, just in case you guys do want to check it out. All right, and then I'm going to take the lip gloss shade Ifrit right here, and we're going to put this lip oil right on top. Ah, that is interesting texture. You can definitely see a little bit of an orange tint. I just like to complement these lips really nicely, and it does. It's like making my lips look a little bit more brown, actually. Alrighty, guys. This is the final look. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really feel very beautiful right now. I really do, and normally I feel really beautiful when I have lashes on, but I don't have any lashes on, but I feel really beautiful. I am living for this eye look. Like truly am living for this eye look. I did not expect it to turn out the way it did. I just kind of went in and just did something. Did expect it to turn out to be as pretty as it is. So we're gonna quickly go over everything. So up first, I do have the Winky Luxe Jelly Primer right here. Um, I'm gonna have to keep testing this out before I give you guys my final opinions on this. So far, it's definitely not bad. It's, I, I wanna compare it to like my full coverage foundation. So I wanna kind of put it to the test there because I feel like right now it's not gonna be a fair test. I know I'm gonna get oily. It's okay. It's not something I'm super excited about. It kind of felt like a silicone primer, but we're definitely gonna keep trying this out. Now the Merit Beauty complexion stick right here, I'm actually genuinely shocked about. Like I love the way my skin looks. My skin looks so freaking good right now. This is really pretty. Now I don't really have much foundation left on my nose. I, it kind of wiped itself away with the powders, but I just feel like this is something that I could definitely use when I'm on the go. When I just need to run outdoors, pop over to Target really fast or go shopping, but I don't want to look like I am dead. <laughs> I will definitely throw this on just to give myself a nice even complexion, make my skin look nice and healthy. I can see myself grabbing this because normally whenever I'm just like running to like the parks really fast or I'm just going out, I quickly put on powder foundation. I can see myself just grabbing this because I love the way my skin looks with this right now. I think it's really pretty. I'm definitely going to keep trying this out. Now with the Urban Decay Concealer, we're gonna have to keep playing with this. It is very full coverage. I don't have anything bad to say about it yet. I wanna try it out against some of my favorite Holy Grail complexion products to see how I like it then, how well it wears. But based on first impressions, it's not bad. It's not my favorite, but we're gonna keep testing it out. Then we have the Nikia Joy Cosmetics. Then we have the Nikia Joy Cosmetics. This is the like brightening under, this is a brightening powder. I can definitely see a difference under my eyes. They are super bright right now. Maybe not be able to tell with like my lights, but in person, they're super bright. They really did help to smooth my under eye right there. Made it really nice and blurring. I really, really like that factor. I don't know if I'll wear this all over the face because it is brightening. And the last thing I'm gonna do is have my face be super brightening. I might just stick to this to being under the eye, but based on first impressions, this is really beautiful. I cannot wait to keep using this. Now the Milk Makeup Powder right here, I do really like it. It just doesn't do the, what I wanted to do. I do like other setting powders over this. It is nice, but it's definitely not my favorite. Then we do have the Smashbox um, blush right here. I'm not going to go over the bronzer because there's no point. 
I'm gonna keep playing with this. It's a really pretty color. It blended out really, really nicely and just gives me just a nice soft peachy glow, which I really do appreciate. It wasn't too heavy. It's very easy to work. It's in the shade Wisteria, so I'll have a link down below. I don't know if I'll ever use this to my like on my lips because it does have a priming oil in it and I feel like priming oils in my personal oil never really mix well together. That's why I hate their photo finish um, primer because it just doesn't work with my skin type. So we're gonna keep playing with this. First impression it is pretty. Then we do have like the What's Up Beauty um, highlighters. I think this is so pretty. Like it just gives me a nice glow from within, a nice little gleam. It's not too high shine, but it's just enough to give me like a really pretty subtle glow, which I really do appreciate. So I'm excited to keep playing with this one. Then we do have the um, Game Beauty palettes. Oh my God, guys, I was sitting on these palettes. I got them like two weeks ago and I have been sitting on them. I am truly so obsessed with how my eye look is right now. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I definitely wanna keep recreating this eye look. It is so pretty. I did have to use three palettes, technically four palettes to create this look. And I will definitely recreate this again, like 100% recreate this again. It's so pretty, it's so effortless. The mattes are super pigmented, barely any fallout. They blend it out really nicely, but these shimmers are where it's at. They're not flaking. They lay down so smoothly and seamlessly. They blended really nice with each other and on the matte. This is freaking gorgeous. I think so far my favorite palette, honest to God, is I thought it would be Pyro. It's not. It's the Geo palette. To me, this Geo palette, something about it that I think is just so freaking pretty, but mixing it also with the Deandro palette, oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Like these palettes are just where it's at. And if you guys do want to pick them up, you guys can use my code Allie, save you guys 10%, but I am literally just like, why have I been sitting on these? Because these are uh, <laughs> really pretty. I really love the eye look that I created. Super freaking nice. Then I do have the Smashbox uh, Super Fan Mascara. Now, it uh, my after sitting here for a minute, my lashes have kind of fallen. You guys can see right here where they're not kind of like up and vibrant the way I like them to. They did kind of fall. I did do two layers, and typically I do like to mix my different uh, mascaras together to give me exactly what I'm looking for, but this time I didn't because I just want to keep trying this out. I do like the wand. I like how soft and effortless it is. But just based upon first impressions, it's okay. It's something that I can just wear on the go, but nothing that I would wear to last me all day. Or this is something that I would wear to put on before I put on false lashes so it blends really well with my lashes. Because right now I just feel like my lashes are kind of going down. They're not being lifted the way that I want them to. They did separate, but they're just, it's just not my favorite. It's not my favorite. We're gonna have to keep trying this out though. And then last but not least, I think for trying out new makeup, we do have the Fantasy Cosmetica Lip Oils. I really like this shade called um, Efreet. Efreet. I think it's a really pretty shade. I think it really kind of enhanced my lip color that I'm having right now. I am wearing my, my collab with Ofra. This is the shade Kaya. And I just feel like it's a really beautiful like orangey tint. I really do like that. I feel that these lip oils have more pigment to them than I expected. I thought it would kind of sheer itself out more but I just feel like it has a little bit more pigment than I expected. So it is really pretty. It did mix very well with this. It's a perfect like fall lip oil. The rest, I'm gonna have to keep playing with this and the rest I'm gonna try again, like on camera and off camera to kind of give you guys my overall opinion. But based on first impression, there wasn't one item in here that I didn't like. And that's kind of shocking, shocking because normally there's, whenever I do these type of videos, I tend to have fails. And today I did it and that's so shocking because normally I do, but yeah, we're gonna have to keep playing with these because like I said, these are just my first impressions, but I'll give you guys my final impressions on these products at the end of October, but stay tuned to next week when I give you guys my final thoughts on everything I tried in August and in September because I, again, I miss out on those videos. So yeah, guys, I'll make sure I list everything I wore my face down below, but that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you guys have not already because I do post every single day for the most part in the month of vlog. Weed. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye.